Cell therapies are, in many ways, they're sort of drug delivery vehicles. You can think about a cell as being delivering a, a lot of drugs that are inside that cell. Cell therapies are really the next generation of therapeutics in which the patient's own cells are part of the drug. We have some early clinical trials that are showing great promise with cells being able to fight cancer um, and improve the lives of people with a, a number of debilitating diseases. So cells bring a whole class of therapeutics where it is extremely complex but it is also uh, can do many, many functions that a single molecule cannot do. The exciting aspect about cellular manufacturing is the ability to really revolutionize medicine um, in this century. And that's really what we've been working toward here at Georgia Tech. There's just a lot of growing interest from industry and our clinical partners in developing a new generation of therapies from living cells. There's a couple different kinds of cell sources that you can have. There may be cells that are actually isolated from the patient and then expanded for a particular therapeutic purpose. Uh, for immunotherapies, for example, one of the things that you have to do is you take those cells and you modify them to recognize a tumor and go back and attack the tumor. Harnessing someone's own immune system and taking advantage of how smart cells are when they respond to signals they get from their environment it actually can multiply into many inside the body, change the behavior of other cells like immune cells, and really attack a certain cell and even kill that cell like cancer. It is an extremely powerful drug. Cells from the patient is one way that we derive stem cells. There's another type of cell that comes from another person and that's an allogeneic source. And from a business perspective, that actually has some advantages because then you could have a centralized source of cells that would be available for a lot of different patients. And so now there are actually companies developing both autologous cell therapies that come from the patient as well as allogeneic cell therapy. The National Science Foundation made a big commitment to our research with the recent establishment of the Center for Cell Manufacturing Technologies. It's one thing to have enough cells in the laboratory to do a benchtop experiment, but to do patient treatments, you need many more cells, and you certainly have to have a cell population that has been carefully characterized. CMAT is really building on earlier efforts at Georgia Tech, like the National Cell Manufacturing Roadmap, the work with the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and our great partnership with the Marcus Foundation. Uh, but we are really bringing in the electrical engineers, the mechanical engineers, the industrial engineers, basic scientists, as well as you know automation, robotics personnel, data scientists, computational scientists, um, to solve these challenges. We here at Georgia Tech really do have all of those capabilities making the CMAT Center um, a perfect uh, mix in the uh, Georgia Tech ecosystem and that makes Georgia Tech an ideal place for such an effort. I think if we do this right, there's a huge potential to use these new technologies, not just at a few uh, elite institutions around the country, but really making it available to the masses. And that's where we hope we can make a major contribution to uh, creating cell-based treatment options for diseases where we now don't have any options.